Hey, Shalom, this brother, Mother Zal. I'm doing a quick uh, video on the ordinance order. Okay, how about you, Shimei Awashai? Before I, but before I open up, I want to give all praises and glory and honor to you. How about you, Shimei Awashai? By Shimei Kakadash. Double honors to our apostles and our elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Peace and salutations to all the Akiyam out here that's laboring in this truth and truth and sincerity. All right, go ahead and jump right into it. This is the book of uh, 1 Corinthians. Chapter 11, starting at verse 1. He says, Be ye followers of me, even as I also am of Hamashiach. See, this is Paul right here. He's establishing the order, you know, because because the, the Heavenly Father, he deal with men, you know, here on the earth, man. He just not gonna talk to us, you know, directly. So he gonna he got he got what you what you call prophets out here, you know, who, who he uh, set orders up with, you know. Like, for instance, give you an uh, example, you know what, like with uh, Elder Apostle Tahar on down, you know, to our apostles in New York and then uh, uh, other elders that set up up under them, you know. And these are men of the Lord, you know, who the Lord appointed, you know, to be leaders over us, you know. So we follow behind them, okay. He says, now I praise you, brethren, that ye remember me in all things, and keep the ordinances as I believed it, as I it's like as I delivered them to you. So right, so so he's delivering the ordinance. He's about to tell us what that uh, that order should be within your own household, you know, because you got women out here that believe that men are women, men and women are uh, are equals, you know, and that's how the way it's supposed to be. That's how the way Esau has a uh, know brainwashed our people into thinking man you know that's why you got a lot of men out here you know actually <laughs> to the point where they actually think the women are over them because i've heard men even say it. they they say uh happy wife happy life or she's the boss or whatever no it's not that man because a woman ain't supposed to be setting no standards and you know, how the way things are supposed to be ran in the house as far as like uh order man women ain't supposed to be setting any kind of standard man the heavenly father he set the standard and then he sent his son he set the standard and then it's, it's gonna go into it we're gonna go down and read the third verse he says but i would have you know that the head of every man is hamashiach and the head see the head of every man is hamashiach that it's the Lord, man. The head of all men is the Lord, our Lord. Okay? He's over us. Okay? He set the standard for us to follow. He's the example for us to follow, man. On how to wait to govern our lives and, and you know, live our lives, man, according to uh, the Most High's will, man. You know? He set the standard, man. He, he gave us, you know, the the, uh, the true gospel, uh, the true word of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh man. Okay, uh, Salakia, he said, uh, I but I would have you to know that the head of every man is Hamashiach and the head of, of the woman is the man. So the head of the, of the uh, woman is the man. So now, because now the man has to set the standard. The same standard that Yahweh Shah set for the man. Okay? We got to deliver those same principles, you know, of the word and on how the way to live and how the way to be. It, you know, we supposed to be the example, basically. The example to our woman, our woman man, on how the way to live, man. So you, if you being a nigga, man, then your woman, she going to be a nigga. <laughs> it's just simple as that. But if you, you know, living in your house, she'll be out with shine, man. Chances is she might come around even if she is a wicked woman in the world, man. She may come around. She may not. You know? But that's because, you know, we're in this captivity. You know? But that's still, that's not the point. The point is that, that there's an ordinance. There's an order. <laughs> You know, and, and being a man, especially a man of the Lord, you you have to set the standard, man. Not your wife. You, she's not equal with you. 
you have to be a man in this thing, man. You know? You can't just be, you know, uh, simple in here because you got a woman, man. And some, some of these women will pull you out of the truth if you allow her to set the standards, man. If you allow her to run everything or, or you try to allow her to be on equal playing field with you. She can't be on the same playing field with you, man. You the man. You set the standard. You make the orders. You make the rules, man. Not her. Salakia. He says, and the head of Hamashiach is Yahweh. Right. The head of, of, of the, our Lord, Yahweh Shai, is the most high. Okay? Let me get this one scripture real quick, and I'm going to close it up with that. Because the point I'm just trying to make is, man, we the men, you know, and, and, and this is the ordinances that Paul is giving to us. You know, so basically, you know, and we got to put the Lord first, man. We got to put our Lord, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai first. You know what I'm saying? The Most High first. Yeah, yeah, and, and, and His Son. You know, we got to, you know, follow behind them first and then set the standard for our family. Okay? This is, uh, in the book of, uh, Salakia. Let me grab my apocryphal real quick. This is the book of, uh, <laughs> Sirach, I think it's 25, verse 25. <laughs> I'm going to go over here this way. Actually, it's in 26. But I'm going I'm to read the 20, 25th word, verse 2. This is a Sirach 25, 25. It says, give, no, give the water no passage. Basically, that means nip it in the bud. Put your foot down. You know, be a man. It says, neither a wicked woman liberty to guide abroad, man. Right, so, you know, you ain't supposed to give up, you know, liberties, man, to do whatever the hell she want to do. That's why I say, cut, you know, uh, nip it in the bud, basically, when it says give the water no passage. Okay? Verse 26. It says, if she go, not as thou wouldest. That, that's like it. If she, if she go not as thou would us have her cut her off from thy flesh right don't pop her no more don't have sex with her no more he says and give her a bill of divorce and let her go right so she don't want to follow the ordinance man and she want to keep on trying to be equal with you or trying to run you or trying to be above you or whatever man and don't want to do what you say do man don't want to follow the rules man forget her man Hey, leave her alone, bro. Cut her off from your flesh. Let her ass go. And move on, man, because we got to serve the Lord first, man. Hey, we got you got to work out your own salvation with fear and trembling first, man. Okay? You can't be afraid, man, to lose that woman, man. Okay? You can't be afraid to put her off, man, and let her go about her business, man. Because she ain't going to do nothing but be a distraction. A distraction to you, man, to get salvation, man. How you all broken hearted and all messed up. You know. Hey, we got to gird up our loins and be men in this thing man. Even if it is. Even if, even if you lose a woman man in this thing man. Hey the Lord going to give us many women man. In the kingdom to come. You know if we if we have, that, if we have the election man. Man we going to have. Yeah. Probably a number of whites we can't even count man. You know. So just look at it like that man. And keep on pushing man. And follow the ordinance. And with that, we give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, by Hashem Rakakadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Peace and salutations to all you Akim out here that's laboring in this truth and truth and sincerity. Shalom.